almost forgot the tickets. <laughs> Going to the NDP. Are you excited? Oh my god, yay! All Jobe. dressed in uh, Jobe today. Yeah. In uh, red and white. Me, are you in red? Yeah, yeah you are too. <laughs> National colors. This is the one dress I wear for like Chinese New Year, Christmas, and Day. <laughs> Three in one. <laughs> Three in one. You, yeah. just, you just told the world your secret. Yeah. <laughs> Welcome back to the vlog and for those who aren't from Singapore, welcome to our sunny island. I'm super excited today because we're on our way to watch the National Day Parade which is like a huge party Singapore throws to celebrate her birthday and this year is Singapore's 59th birthday. I have so many fond memories of the National Day Parade, also known as NDP. I was part of the marching contingent back in 1999 and 2000 when I was a girl guide. Well, wait, correction, I still am a girl guide at heart. <laughs> I remember the adrenaline rush of marching into the stadium, hearing the National Day songs and feeling the crowd cheering for us. That feeling was addictive, I tell you. This time, I wanted to experience it as a spectator. I never tried balloting for NDP tickets before, but I decided to try my luck this year. And guess what? Lady Luck was on my side and I got six tickets. So the whole family is going, including my mom's best friend. Today is going to be amazing. Yay! On the way! <laughs> on red! What's going on here? The sea of red. Oh my god, it's so hot! <laughs> but I'm so excited as well! Haven't seen the Esplanade for a long time. People always say it resembles a durian. What do you guys think? What do you think? Is yeah. it like a durian? Yeah, close up. Looks yeah. like a durian. Jackfruit. Pineapple. Yeah, for pineapple. Little triangles, so cute. What is going on there? It's to look like the uh, architecture. Thank you. No, don't do it. Thank you. Security checks.
Thank you so much. Wristbands. It's supposed to wear on your wrist. Maybe got light on. Ah, okay. Okay. Yay. You take one from me, okay? Alright, oh, okay. Alright, get two. Uh. Oh, wow, yay. And me? Me, me, take I got unlimited, unlimited snacks. Yay, thank you. Got snacks. You didn't get any snacks? I didn't. I thought you got it for me? No. It's not for me. We got the snack for the whole video. She's <laughs> oh, these are mine. You need to get your own. Yay! You see our snacks? Where's the snack? <laughs> Stuff going on. Already? We're missing it. We need to go to the green zone. Careful, step. So where do we go? This one, right? Green zone. Sector gate one. That way. Yeah, that way. No problem. Why any drinks? Oh, oh I got drinks, drinks, drinks. Yeah, get drink. Me, get a drink. Yeah. Drink. Drink. Quick. My hands are full. You want the soft drink? No water for me. Thank you. Water. Good. Look at the food we stole. We didn't steal anything. They gave us all the Oh gosh, you wouldn't believe it, but I'm actually feeling a little starstruck right now. These are characters I absolutely loved as a kid. There's Charity Elephant, Singer the Courtesy Lion, and Captain Green, who makes sure Singapore stays clean and green. My absolute favourite is Charity Elephant, and I actually have a little history with him. So his name, Charity, is actually a clever blend of share and charity. He used to have a newsletter that was sent to every primary school in Singapore. There was a column in that newsletter, a bit like an agony aunt section, where Charity would answer kids' questions. I remember having a tough time in school so I wrote to Charity Elephant and guess what? He replied! My name in school was even published in the newsletter and I remember everyone at school thought it was so cool that Charity replied to me and I was like a superstar for a few days. <laughs> 
oh gosh i'm feeling a little emotional right now <laughs> because these are really happy memories for me i thought it was such a great initiative by charity because in a time before social media it gave kids a sense of community and a safe space to share their happiness and struggles it was reassuring to see that we weren't alone in our experiences
Sector of National Cadet Corps Land, National Police Cadet Corps, St. John Brigade. Ladies and gentlemen, this year's presidential gun salute will be executed by soldiers from 23rd Battalion, Singapore Artillery. The parade and ceremony. It's a time of stand united. There was a time when people said that Singapore won't make it. But we did. and Madam Halima Yako, along with Emeritus Senior Minister, Mr. Go Chok Tong. This is a simulation. This is my future. Senior Ministers and Deputy Prime Minister. All together, our common destiny. This year, we are especially delighted to be joined by our Senior Minister, Mr. Lee Sien Long. Let's put our hands together to welcome our ministers and Mr. Lee Sien Long. This is a simulation. He looks a bit different. Ladies and gentlemen, please be seated. The ceremonial vehicle will now drive our reviewing officer around the paddock.
It is a joyous moment at the Padang as the crowds and contingents gather here today to celebrate Singapore's 59th birthday together with our reviewing officer. Ladies and gentlemen, let's wave our flags for our reviewing officer. Come on, Singapore! Watch 
as they demonstrate their firepower to achieve a swift and decisive victory. Strike vehicles marked to have entered the party. These highly mobile and light strike vehicles will demonstrate their agility through a series of precise maneuvers. Now watch as they zip and stick. In response to a suspicious vehicle threat, the new generation fast response car from the Singapore police force is swiftly forming a barricade. Watch as our SPF ground response force swiftly engages the threat and stabilizes the situation. from civilians on a moving vehicle in what appears to be a bus hijack. The fast response car is in position to block the bus, allowing the Special Operations Task Force to breach the hijacked bus. The Special Operations Task Force have successfully entered the bus to further assess the situation. There's something over there. Should I call the police? Okay, hey, yeah, you call the police. Hello, there's something suspicious here at National Gallery. It is beeping and there is a red light. Nearby, a suspicious bag has been reported by the public to the SG Security. The Explosive Ordnance Disposal Team is swiftly taking up position near the blue sector, while the robot operator deploys their remotely operated vehicle to neutralize the improvised explosive device from a safe distance. The team has given the all-clear sign. The IED has been defused. What's the situation? Look over here. Just identify. Activities is detected here. sections. In response to the 
unfolding events, members of the public are stepping forward to do their part. to the blue sector. Civil, economic, social, physical, and psychological defense. Singaporeans will continue to strengthen ourselves in our community. There's a part for everyone in total defense. Together, we keep Singapore strong. A day of great significance to all Singaporeans. Welcome to the Padang on this fine August evening to witness the first ever live color telecast.
supporting a lot of people. At first it was just a ground up initiative and then eventually it became you know a non-profit that provides mental health programs and services and that's what we are trying to build. A community that's empathetic, compassionate towards one another is being there for each other with lots of empathy and lots of love. The idea of starting up children's centre was from a boy that Ronita cared for in the hospice. For his 14th birthday, we took him to the adult day centre. His immediate reaction was, why isn't there a place for children with cancer? Knowing what the kids go through time and time again with cancer treatment and, you know, I think it's more than fulfilling a birthday wish when we set up ARC. We wanted them to be happy, we wanted them to enjoy each day and each moment. Experience the joy and the happiness of a childhood. For us, at the back of our mind, we cannot guarantee tomorrow, but we have today.
As long as there is hope, we must not let it go. I guess a big lesson I can learn by volunteering is that you don't need a lot to be happy. Workplaces places these days are getting more accepting of people with diverse needs, and I'm hopeful that this trend will continue.
Winning the race. Hey, hey. Up there. Hana. Does this look scary? Yes. <laughs> Does it feel scary? Yes. I think next week is the last time we're gonna use it and they're done. Is it? Yeah. Bye bye, Nasi Padang. Bye bye. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. Thank you. You got everything? Yes. Yay. Okay. Let's go. Where do we go? Oh, this way. No, this way. Oh, 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 bye. Bye bye. Love the energy. <laughs> Yay. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> Bye. 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 I'm going to be flagged by YouTube again. <laughs> we were saying we feel like we're in Disneyland. Like before we leave the park, right? Yeah. Very soothing, nice music. Oh. Huh? Mom saying, look at the MBS. Can I finish saying what I want to say? I said I feel like I'm in Disneyland. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> The worst vlog ever. <laughs> Goldfish memory. Oh, the big. Hey. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Check out the MBS. Wow. Look. See the Singapore flag? Did you see the Singapore flag? Yeah, it's cool. Pretty cool, huh? The Disney experience continues. Thank you. Don't you think so? Yeah, that's good. Thank you, bye. Like we're leaving Disneyland. Bye. Everyone's so friendly. Very strong. Hi. Hi. Thank you. Thank you. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye Are we going to munch too or not? Hey guys, so we just got home and um, what we just shared with me that this bun is no ordinary bun. I'm so sorry that you guys had to see the mess, but I really have to share this with you. I uh, almost cried eating it. So it says here, sunshine butter sugar. And you don't think much of it until you have your first bite. Yeah. So. <laughs> it just turns out, this has always been the interesting thing for me and Jules. We find common um, threads 
things that we both like, even though we're completely from different parts of the world. Mm. So as a kid, sometimes what my mom would make for me would yeah. be like normal bread, like slices of bread. Mm -hmm. She would put a spread on it, like margarine or butter, yeah, and sprinkle sugar on it. You know what? I used to have it also as a kid in and, our school canteens. And that's what this tastes like. It's actually got sugar in it, so you bite it and it's got that crunch and it's so nice. When you asked me to try it, I was like, yeah, I don't like butter, I don't like sugar, I never like this combination. I mean, not that I never liked it, but since um, we started taking care of our health a little bit more, I uh, avoid high fat, high sugar food already, so I don't eat this kind of combo. So you said I had to try it and um, yeah, so this is me right now, I just showered, so I look like poop. But yeah. You like it? I'm waiting for you to Oh, you, you want another bite, <laughs> is it? Mm? It's got the brunt crunch. It reminds me of my childhood. Mm. It really does. So, this is my comfort food when I was a kid. Mm -hmm. So, if we get to school earlier, this is the kind of breakfast we would buy. So, the aunties in the canteen, they would have the, these um, little breads. Mm. They'll cut the edges and then they will spread butter, like you said, butter or margarine mm. or, and sugar with it. Such a nice comfort food just before school starts, you get that in oh. a little sugar rush, <laughs> that now, little boost. Now that I think back, I remember sugars. my first year of med school mm -hmm. and there were a lot of um, Singaporean mm -hmm. students who came to the UK to study medicine. Mm -hmm. and then I would see them sometimes, we would all go for breakfast together. Mm -hmm. and I remember seeing a Singaporean guy doing it. His name was Mun Hong. At the event, at the NDP, they had goodie bags. You know, they were giving away a lot of free snacks and things, which is quite cool. So I guess it was like, uh, you know... It's, it's NDP, it's National Day Parade. So yeah, probably it's all about like stirring those nostalgic emotions and... Yeah, I really feel very emotional, no? very touched by it. Mm. Just the whole thing. I think yeah, they just really got good. it right. You like it? Do you like the NDP actually? Yeah, I really liked it. My afterthought is that I hope I can get to go every year. It was a lot of fun. <laughs> For me... I, even though I'm not Singaporean, but I've been here a long time and the way they kind of rouse that community spirit at the event, it's nice. I think you have to be a weird person not to be touched, so it's quite <gasps> touching. And seeing all of those things happening in front of you, all the exhibitions and events, it's, it's like being in Universal Studios. You've got mm -hmm. real tanks and things and people jumping out of planes and landing in front of you and all kinds of cool stuff going on. So yeah, it was, it was a lot of fun. So yeah, it's good. Should we go again next year? If we can, I think we should. Yeah, it's we a lot of fun. Yay! Bet you enjoy yourself. Yeah. I remember when I was a kid, you'd be the envy of everyone in class or even the school if you came to school the next day after NDP using the NDP fun pack bag as your school bag. It was like you were the new cool kid on the block. The bag itself would usually contain lots of useful items you could use during the parade like food, snacks, wet tissues and sometimes even health and wellness goodies like vitamins. This year, we've got resistance bands in the mix. Ooh, I found some chocolate oat milk by Oatside in the bag. Let's make some mocha, shall we? My recipe is super simple. 120 ml of chocolate milk and 2 shots of espresso. Yums! Alright, back to the NDP fun pack. So this year's bag is also inspired by the 40th anniversary of Total Defense and it comes in six different designs representing the six pillars of defense. Each one has been hand-drawn by 40 student artists showcasing artworks that uniquely represent Singapore. And the best part? This drawstring bag is made from eco-friendly materials which I absolutely love. It was a heartwarming event and we had such a good time. With National Day this Friday, I'm really looking forward to watching the parade with everyone else on TV in Singapore. And I uh, just want to say thank you so much for watching everyone and Happy National Day!